to here this season. Four five set matches already for Hawaii coming into this one. But Kaylin Alexander, who went through her turbulence last night at different stages of the match, she's able to catch. And it will be Tele Ikenaga. What a run she has been on here the last couple of weeks. Slide, and that one is pounded home by Bailey Hanner. Hanner's been playing well here in the island. 6'2 junior from Sugarland, Texas. At 11 kills at three flocks against Oregon State on Thursday. And hit 438. Big numbers. Victoria Leva with the first touch there. Here's Alexander. The windup goes cross court. And handcuffs Hanner. So. Eight. Big numbers. Victoria Leva with the first touch there. Here's Alexander. The windup goes cross court. And handcuffs Hanner. So. Well, what you coming in now? Five and one on the year. Texas State four and three. Good serve that time by Lang, and she comes up with the save as well. Now it hovers above the net, and it's going to be a point for Texas State. Double hit by Kate Lang. And they got here midday <laughs> last Saturday. They don't leave until tomorrow. Well, what you out of system here, and a free ball coming over the net to the Bobcats. Set goes middle, and that is Jad DeFree who gets dug up. Now Tally Hawkes through the block. Good up by Ryan Torres, the setter. Samantha Wunsch with the lefty swing is dug up by Kate Lang. Alexander from the opposite side. The tip sniffed out by Wunsch. Now on the outside, it's MJ McCurdy. Access denied at the net. Three away from career number 100. Got 99 on Thursday against Oregon State. Backside, this is Wunsch, solo blocker against her. The dig there by Lang. From the back row, it's Alexander! Oh, she's coming out with intention here in this opening frame, C-Mac. I have to give her some credit for the coaching job that she and the rest of the staff did last night as Hawaii rallied back from down 0-2 against Oregon State to pull off the reverse sweep. Here's Wunsch, got under it. Was there a touch? No touch. And Hawaii gets the point. Some of the Bobcat players looking back at that was pretty quick. And he will call a touch. And so a good challenge, good communication there between the players. The Wahine Classic on weekend number one and this Outrigger Invitational down from four team tournaments to three team tournaments this year as the ace is. And we are tied here at four in set one. Because of the three team tournaments, that's why they picked up Texas State on Tuesday and they're picking up UNLV next week on the road. Good pass there by Alexander. Backside, it's Haka splits the uprights of the block. Misses wide. Because it was the block was closing quickly. Oh, that one. The pass on the back pedal by Alexander. Jassen Venus. Well, say what you will. And again, like you said, uh, really out of the interest of trying to shore up the block. But Jassen Venus, offensively, she has been on a hot streak the last few matches. She really has. Snapping high and hard, blocking well. That's Maggie Walsh, 5'10 junior from San Marcos, Texas. That performance up with a 10 kill, three ace match against Oregon State on Thursday. Lang going middle, that's Miliana Sylvester. Diving save there by Walsh and we play on. Lang goes back to Miliana, the paintbrush again dug up, little joust above the tape. Now we can now go. Bump set, Stella Adami through the block. Punch back over, Adami the quick hop. And now the Bobcats playing it back. It's one troll shot, pancake save, but only momentarily by Tally Hawkes. So Texas State winning a long one, and they're up two here in the first. Last tip that drops, though, because Robin Amo, I think, let the team know in no uncertain terms after set two, she doesn't want any more tips dropping. That's a great set there, and Stella Damey obliges by Bobcats. Negative numbers, though, in the percentage department against Oregon State, but as Ryan Kale Suji and the corner crew pointed out in the pregame, she turned it up a notch in that fourth and fifth set last night. And here she is again, a little short jump. Walsh was able to two-hand save it, once down the line. Right there is Tele Ikenaga. Here is Stella going high hands. Walsh off the ricochet. Now in the middle, it's Hanner, and she just soft-touched it to where no Rainbow Wahine were. 
pass by Alexander. That was well done. And then Sylvester got a good swing on it. The block slowed it down, though. Now Hanner in the middle. And that was heavy handed by Hanner in her third year with the program. You had told me what she would be doing. He wanted Torres to get the middles more involved earlier. Nine serving six. Tough serve. Alexander. And that one bounces off of the dome of Ryan Torres. She had, did she have 10, 10 errors last night, I believe? Or was it 11? Set goes middle, that's Hanner. Two-hand save there by Huckus. Alexander threw the block and down. So five kills for her. Uh, the exact number was 11 hitting errors. Best stuff last night. Exactly. And, uh, we, but tonight, look how she's playing tonight. She's challenging the block. She's not trying to hit impossible shots. Really smart play. Outside, that's Walsh through the block. Ike Naga with the save. And then on two, Alexander was able to light it up. Great dig there by Adair. Three ball coming over. They run the slide. It's Sylvester. Miliana Sylvester knocks this thing up in set one. All right. But Miliana Sylvester picked on her that time. Yeah, you see what she did on Tuesday against Texas State. And last night against Oregon State, 11 kills at 308, had seven blocks. The slide to Hanner blocked back. Now on the other side, the tip by Walsh right there is Alexander, but it's an overpass. Lang able to challenge above the net. Walsh again down the line, dug up over the net by Hawkes. The slide to Hanner, and they finally put a punctuation mark on that long rally. Some good volleyball there in that sequence. Oregon State, 16 digs in the first meeting between these two teams on Tuesday. Here she is on. The tip shot from the back row, and she missed the floor wide. That was perhaps the call. 304 on the other side for Texas State, and now a misalignment on the Hawaii side of the net. Saw that. I'm not sure who was out of rotation there, but I think it might have been Hawkins in the back row. 12 serving nine. That one caught up on the. High part of that platform by Alexander. She's able to blast it off the block and out. And Kalen comes. Morning. <laughs> again? You want to be on again? Billy Hall's got it covered. <laughs> 10 serving 12 here in the first. So give Alexander officially the six kills. That one hit off the block. What a chase down there by Hawkes. Bump set. Alexander is dug up by the libero Alyssa Ortega. Back row, that's Walsh, two hands it over. Now Ike Naga, bump set, Alexander, hard angle. Oh, that was a thin wrist away slice of bread. You know, she's picking her spots better, and picking her tempo better. 11 serving 12. Bobcats having some trouble, it's an ace. Taylor Ike Naga with her fourth ace of the season. 5-5. Uh, five, five. Sure, by the way, <laughs> did, I, did I play libero in high school? And now she is one of the best in the country. Yeah. The reigning Big West Conference Defensive Player of the Week forces the overpass. Jason Bates. The slide. This is Hanner. Hawkes was first to touch it. Leva, the diving save. Can Ike Naga get it across? She does. And we play on. Again, Hanner on the slide. And that time it bounces in the middle of the Hawaii floor. Bailey is way up there. And she's got a great arm swing and great timing. Tied at 13. They run the slide, do the rainbow wahine to Bamis. And Jason Bamis has three kills, no errors. Yes, yeah, so there's some pretty good volleyball going on right now. Not like the first two sets last night. For those who missed it, you didn't miss anything, by the way. Yeah, uh, it, the simple story, Oregon State looked really good. They Hawaii, were. not so much. Yeah. That's MJ McCurdy, just a freshman, a true frosh at that. 6'2", out of Frisco, Texas. Good this year. The team's top hitter coming into tonight's match. And when they first started recruiting her, how tall was she? <laughs> she was not as tall as she is now. She was 5'4". Almost a foot shorter than what she's listed at at the moment. As That's right. That's right. On. Call them the cardiac cakey, the anxiety <laughs> antes, whatever you want to do. It's a rainbow roller coaster ride. Middle said that is Jad Defree. Soft touch is dug up. Here's Hawkins, two blockers against her. Oh, but she lights it a flame. I said.
we have yet to see her great hitting night. Yeah, taking some good cracks, though, the last couple of evenings. It's a heck of a serve there by Alexander. Here's McCurdy off the block and down. How about the hitting stats for you know, 636? By the way, hitting 300 is a pretty good night for an outside <laughs> hitter. Well, both teams actually hitting for a good percentage. That's a service error there for the Bobcats. You have so here is Bamis now to serve. Hawaii by two. As we start to get a little closer towards the home stretch of this first frame. That's Wunsch in the middle, diving save Alexander. So Stella sets up Hawkins. The tip shot is sniffed out. Outside, the quick reload. Walsh is blocked, but they keep it alive. Here's Wunsch. The tip shot, easy save for Alexander. Outside, a Damy one on one, and she crushes it. Wunsch usually rips that one cross court. She just tried to take a little bit too much off. She's the second most prolific hitter for this Texas State team. Jad DeFree has found some offense this week, though. At five kills at 500 Thursday. She's been a steady force up front. That's why Coach Hewitt won her set more. Another one-on-one -on -one set up by Kate Lang. And Tally Hawkins delivers. Kate Lang distributing and setting a match here from Tally Hawkins, who was the beneficiary of that oh, decision by she, Lang. Did she actually give her hook? I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, uh, you'll see another one here, I'm sure. Yeah. In the not-too-distant future, off of one leg, Hanner. We talked about her high jumping prowess. <laughs> she 17 serving 20. What you got a system here? It's Alexander with the high set. Stella will just punch it over. Now the slide to Hannah, a little off the mark, and she hit it into the pin. That set a little bit inaccurate there. A rare error from what we have seen from Ryan Torres here this week. Yeah, Torres has been pretty flawless. I'm waiting for her to dump one over here pretty soon. All Sun Belt second team selection a year ago. Fifth year senior from Buda, Texas. Now goes the other way. This is Walsh. Roll shot bounces in front of a diving Leva. Maggie Walsh is tricky. No matter where she's right there in San Marcos, Texas, where the campus for Texas State is located. And that was a miss. One of those I got it, you got it, nobody gets it moments. And Texas State within two. 19 serving 21. Two-hand pass that time, Ike Naga high and away. It's Alexander laying the smackdown. Look at that. Eight kills, 12 attempts, no errors. Hawaii by three. Outside, this is McCurdy. Tough to stop, MJ McCurdy. <laughs> Street, according to some of the medical experts that are familiar with her, uh, saying she's still growing. Yeah, her growth plates haven't closed. Here's Alexander again. Oh, what a dig there. Crossed the way. That one was by Alyssa Clark, but then it's sent out, and Hawaii gets to 23. Coming on strong, really hitting, hitting some smart shots. And getting these serves in. Free ball coming over the net. Lang with options, goes middle to Bamis off the block. Sliding save there, high ball bump set goes to McCurdy. Three blockers against her, punched up in the air by Alexander. Hawkes, two blockers against her from off the net. Outside, this is McCurdy again. The block slowed it down, but nobody could get that second up. <laughs> Trying to turn up the volume knob here. Good pass there, Ike Naga. Middle delay set to Alexander, but DeFree shuts the door. A little what they call an X2. Very late in this first frame. The setter, Ryan Torres, getting ready to serve out of the timeout for Texas State. Pass by Ike Naga on the money. Right side, Alexander over the block. OTT for Alex. Just the right height so that Alexander could go over that block. That was a thing of beauty right there. Aloha ball in the first. Alexander will serve. It's an overpass. Lang the first touch. Ike Naga sends it to Adami through the block and down. And for just the... It's a buzzsaw in Kaylin Alexander. Get underway here. Victoria Leva 
with the serve. Pump set from the back row. That's Walsh. What you'll play it back over on two goes Lang. Diving save back over the net by Clark. Outside, here's Alexander. Block slowed it down. And McCurdy is blocked back. She gets her own up. Right back to McCurdy. It goes from off the net, off the block. Alexander the save. D set goes to Hawkins. Diving save there by Clark. That's Walsh from the back row. And the hands of Tali Hawkins. Didn't fall through and execute? Ah, that'll happen. That'll come with time. Here's the slide to Sylvester off the block and down. Second kill for Miliana Sylvester, averaging 1.8 on this tonight. Over on two, that's Torres. You talked about it in the pregame, C-Mac. We featured these two setters, and you said one thing that they will do that you... Hands up, she might have blocked that right back. Here's Alexander from off the playing surface. And the block there, Samantha Wunsch jumping up next to DeFree. That's a big old block there. 6-2 and 6-3, respectively. Yeah, they got a good matchup now on Kaylin Alexander. Putting their two biggest blockers in the court right now on Kaylin. They're on the slide. Here's Bamis, tip shot. Sliding save by Wunsch. Walsh from the back row. There's Hawkins on the save. High and away, it goes to Alexander. The cutty misses wide. And so back out again. Alexander the first touch. And she goes up the elevator shaft, but misses wide. So a lava hot first frame for Kaylin Alexander. And now three straight hitting errors. Points scored by the Bobcats. That one straight up in the air. Leva will send it to the net. And it's going to be a joust up there. And that one just too tight for Kalen to be able to do anything with it for Texas State. Well, what are you trying to get out of this sticky rotation? Alexander that time gets it down. So she's into double figures. And Hawaii going to try to see if they can rev that. Uh, the little turbulence here at the onset of the second. That last time out, Hawaii was hitting negative 250, and Texas State 450. High and away, it goes to McCurdy, and she rips that one. MJ McCurdy now with five division, where they are preseason pick to win that division, also earned the most overall points of any team in the league in the preseason rankings. Middle set a little low there for Bamis. So now it's Wunsch, the tip. Saved there by Leva. Free ball coming back over the net. Big advantage here for the Bobcats. They go outside. It's Walsh. Blasts it long. No touch up front. And Hawaii earning an at-large bid into the NCAA tournament last year. They actually won the Sun Belt West Division, but lost in the semifinals of the conference tournament to James Madison. Still got an at-large. First ever at-large berth for this program as a Damey pumps it out. And so this is a Texas State team that has some serious X play a home game until October, until next month. Middle set, that's Bamis blocked back. A Damey the quick reset, and she's able to tool the block. She's getting to be pretty proficient in that regard. On the all conference team. Oh, off of one foot, Hanner the tip. Alexander sets up a Damey. Her push dink fielded there by Torres. Wunsch with two blockers waiting for. Her. It was a high ball stay. Averaging two and a half kills per set coming into this match. But it's Texas State by six. Here's Sylvester. Getting her third kill of the match. Everybody seemed bigger on the other side, but she seems to be adjusting quite well from high school volleyball. Well, they run the slide, that's Hanner. Oh, they're gonna call that an up there by Hawkes, so we stay alive here in this rally. Walsh is blocked. Walsh a second time from off the net, saved there by Alexander. Cross court set, a Damey trying to take line and misses wide. 
Yeah, all's well that ends well if you're Texas State. They ended up getting the point anyway. A Damey off of one foot. That was forceful. She cut the, the block a little off guard. There in the graphic, it, she is listed for five kills on our official scoring screen. Hitting 231. And then over on two goes Torres. The one-handed dump shot. First ways to be in a... Texas State has Hawaii doubled up, and that will make that even wider of a gap. And eight. Alexander, so Alexander moves up to the net, and Hawkins will move in to pass the ball. Largest lead here of set two for Texas State. Lang goes to Sylvester. Block getting a piece of everything right now on the Bobcat side. McCurdy dug up by Hawkins. It's set a little low, but Alexander able to make it work anyway. Didn't have much to work with. Outside, this is McCurdy blasting it off of the Hawaii hands. Now she's just hammering from the outside, night in and night out. That's Alexander going high hands, saved by Ortega. Here's McCurdy again, roll shot off the block and down. She shows a pretty wide array of hitter who has some really good ball control skills. She does. She's got a lot of tools in the toolbox, too, all her shots. Hawkes sends it out. ...of a Rainbow Wahine volleyball match. As that serve goes long, and Hawaii catches a break out of the timeout. Though where it just seems to course over peaks and valleys, night in and night out. Sometimes it's set one where they come out a little slow. Sometimes after a very inspiring set one like tonight, then all of a sudden a set two that leaves much to be desired. As Hawkins is blocked back. That set goes over the net, and we're going to have a net violation against Hawaii, so Texas State gets the point. Now, we don't want to minimize what the so inspiring, but yeah, Texas State, they have responded here in a big way. Only one hitting here, hitting 375. Marcus blocked and roofed. Jad to free. My goodness. She is. Serve goes long. Still, Bobcats have Hawaii doubled up here in the second. It'll be a roller coaster year. Get your e ticket ride like they do in Disneyland and <laughs> yeah, be ready right. for some thrills and chills. One hand set, pounded straight down by DeFree. That was a beautiful play by Ryan. Um, I think Torres was going to set it over. Here's Hawkes. Another one of those delayed middle twists. And then the right side player comes around, and that forms an X. This is Wunsch. Had to adjust the approach. That was interesting. Sort of that last second shuffling of the feet. And Alyssa Clark making an adjustment going from the right side of the service line to across the way in front of the Texas State bench. So Vester in the middle, the paintbrush swing, Ortega the diving save. And then on the outside, it is Brooke Benke who gets blocked and roofed. Miliana Sol. You can at least shift a little bit of the momentum here towards the tail end of this second set. McCurdy from the back row tickled the tape. Good effort there by Hawkins on the save. And then from the back row, Alexander is dug up. Here is Hanner on the slide. What a save, Alexander. UK Naga, free pass over the net. Over on two goes Torres, rattled around. A Damey little hopping approach. Sniffed out by Ortega. Benke. And a net violation goes against Hawaii. 21. Sylvester. Maggie Walsh, again, lining up on that far side of the service line. Gonna pick on a Damey there. Back row is Alexander. What a save in the back row by Clark. Free ball, though, misses the floor wide. And Hawaii gets the point. They've got a pair of blocks. And feeling pretty comfy with this margin at the moment. Good save there, Ike Naga. High ball, Alexander. 
Put in a little extra chili pepper. Said one where she just dominated. Torres running the slide. It's Hanner. The block was late. And Hanner sent it wide. Good thing the block. Now one and two on the season. Out of the timeout, this is McCurdy. And McCurdy found the sweet spot. Eight kills for her, and that steadied the shifts already. Look out. Alexander, the big windup. How about 14 kills for... 85, that's a good number for an outside hitter, for sure. There's Taylor Itenaga. Closing in on a 1,000 career digs, by the way. That's a dig there for Alexander. Quickly back up off the Terraflex. Good sliding save by Alyssa Clark. Free ball coming over. Outside, it's Alexander. One on one. And she obliterates it. That's not a fair fight, just one on one like that. They have not led at all here in set two. Down by six. Middle set, and DeFree is stopped by the net. Serve there, Ike Naga. First touch there. McCurdy, here she is, cross court and wide, no touch. And looky here, Hawaii within four. 18 serving 22. McCurdy with the first touch, she gets the set. Hits it long, was there a touch on that one? No touch is called. Sean. Staticam angles that we don't have access to, so here we go. I think there's no change. I think it stands. Oh, there is a change. No. <laughs> I should have wagered with oh, you on you that. You should one. have. <laughs> Between these two teams in set two. Ryan Torres will serve. 23 serving 18. Lang going outside. It's Alexander again. And she hit that with so much force. Oh. And Hawaii make yet another push here in the second. Outside, it's McCurdy. Dug up. Ike Naga, high ball set. Alexander going high hands. Block was able to slow it down. Wunch off the block and out. Alexander got a good piece of it, but a good tooling of that resist. Got that nozzle of an arm. Aloha ball here in the second for Texas State. Hawkes through the double block. McCurdy the pickup. Wunch the tip. Rattles around and drops. And Texas State responds in set two. 25. Uncomfortable situations, and, and, and they, just, they just play better volleyball. Dug a lot of balls, blocked a couple. And there's some offense by the center. Well, that helped to turn things around a little. Had to pay. Yeah, exactly. So Hawaii strikes first. How about that back bump set? That was a thing of beauty as McCurdy explodes. Meanwhile, McCurdy into double figures and kills. She has 10. Overpass is forced. Well, Torres didn't really do anything with it, though, and then Bamis plugs it through the block and down. Missed opportunity there for Torres. And into the net it goes. So Hawaii has not been that short of the maximum they could play That's right. through the first six matches coming in. Famous, oh, rising high. Some elevation and then some good number to keep the other team's block honest. Three serving two with a lollipop action that time by Alexander. Against the grain, it's Wunsch. Hard angle. Too hot to handle for Stella Adami. Surprise, she was caught off guard. That was a very sharp angle. Lang going backside to Hawkes. Good up there, Ortega. Middle of the net, a little action. Munch. Looks like she may have crossed that center line, but no Hawaii players close enough, it seems. Bent key is dug up by Ikenaga. Back row, Alexander. The net actually slowed that one down. Here's Wunsch the other way, past the diving Alexander. And the Bobcats winning another. Ten kills, only one air hitting 470. Famous off the block and down. Jackson Famous now, six kills, no errors to her. Four serving four. What a serve by Bamis. That was filthy. Good luck passing that. In the middle and 
Not a hard hit by DeFree, but in a national program. Beck had some eyes on possibly suiting up for France in the Paris Olympics. Good looking swing there by Tali Hawkes. So that international play really helps. The level of play is another, another level, another level higher. And Hawkes does say it's different though. Above the net, a little action there. Flat footed slap over by Torres. Middle, it is Sylvester off the block. Good cover by Ortega. Here's Hanner. Able to rip it. Hard and snaps high. The block. Well, Texas State right now hitting 500 in this set, error free. Their top three hitters, who all have at least seven kills, are hitting well over 300 as Kate Lang calls her own number again. Good serve by Leva. And that goes long. It was Hanner from off the net. Just her night here at the arena. So a Spanish-speaking PA announcer accompanying the English-speaking PA announcer. Traditional music in between some of these points. Here's Alexander. Reached up. Some go-go gadget on. Yeah, Bamis as well, who, by the way, lived in Spain for the first seven years of her life. Overpass Alexander. Hanner. The save there, Ike Naga. Deset Hakkas rolls it over the block. On the outside, McCurdy off the block and down. She has been virtually impossible. New age blocker at 6-1. McCurdy and ABCA prep All-American at Frisco Liberty High School. And there's Lang again. Did I tell you that the setters would be a little offensive tonight? You've mentioned it a couple of times. <laughs> outside, McCurdy again. That was a bit of an avoidance swing. Sends it over the block and out. No Regular passers. And then she drills one long. Not even close. That was their third overall here tonight. Hawkes, the big swing. She loves that left side, doesn't she? Having to get back into the flow with the American collegiate style of the game. Oh, that'll help. A service ace by Kaylin Alexander. Yeah. The team has a frosh. And she was the Big West Conference Freshman of the Year. Lunch cross court right there was Lang. So Ike Naga sets up Stella. What an up by Ortega. Delay middle, it's Wunsch off the block. One hand punch up there by Alexander. Here's Hawkes. The set was a little low. Torres had the first touch. So now Wunsch, her roll shot, finds the floor. As we have seen at times, their dot race. I had blue. You did? Yeah. <laughs> I just forgot to tell you. <laughs> 10 serving 14. Lang going high and away. Here is a Damie. Diving save there, nicely done by Benke. Wunsch took something off. Alexander the save. Stella again off the block, the cover. Alexander, little joust above the net, and it's Benke. Really nice push by Benke. 11 serving 14. Lang, backside, it's Hawkes. Didn't put a lot on it. That back set off the mark. It was a backhanded swing by Wunsch, and then the tip by Alexander. Tickles the net and falls. That was on Thursday on night one, or afternoon one, of the Outrigger Invitational. Wenke. Off the block. Stella dug up there by Ortega cross court. That middle set was sent over the net. Now Alexander from the back row put a pretty good swing on it. Good dig there by Wunsch. She goes off the block, saved by Lang. So Alexander high balls it to Stella. High hands. Rattled around on the Bobcat side. Benke sends it just beyond the end line. Was a decent look. And all over the ball. Middle set, the dig there on the DeFree swing by Lang. And it was drifting up at the top of the net. And, but it doesn't look like Robin Amo is going to go through those motions. 
12 serving 16. Lang's going to send it out to Adami. What an up there in the back row. Benke, the block slowed it down. Sylvester, the first touch. Back row, Alexander tips it. Rattles around him. It's returned. Hawaii on the attack. Lang out to Adami. What a difference. This matches Hawaii's largest lead here in the third. 17 serving 12. Trying to break a 1-1 tie here in this match. Wunsch, the tip, punched up in the air by Adami. Quick reset for her, and then Stella through the resistance and down. Adami with seven kills. Yet another assist for Taylor. And high, Wunsch. Not her hands. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, you buy a half dozen. Here's Wunsch. Well, that one right down Dole Street. Back row wasn't there. She's got a nozzle up there. She can hit it just about any angle, regardless of which way her body is facing. Here's the slide to Hanner, dug up by Alexander, drifts over the net. Hanner couldn't get it down. Hanner again, the block, able to slow it on the Hawaii side. Adami, the roll shot. There is Ortega. That set a little low, and the block is up. Sylvester shuts the door. Alums in Miliano Sylvester. There they are. We saw a Mili 1.0 sign. <laughs> of course, there's been a lot made about Robin Amo Gidi as a player, but she says, you know what? I have uh, intentions of being Mili 1.0. You gotta love that. Here's Alexander. Now McCurdy dug up by Ike Naga. That's her eighth dig of the match. Tip shot by Alexander. Connection wasn't really there between setter and hitter. Torres trying to catch him napping, but Hawaii returns it. Now Torres again going over on two. Sylvester got a piece. Alexander tried to two-hand it past the block. Yeah. Time out. If they score another point here, I think Hawaii needs to get a little bit set, a little organized here. And a pass tight to the net, and over on two goes Lang. Yeah, that was Hanner. Just sort of waiting for that one. 20 serving 15. Outside, McCurdy off the hands of Lang and out. Well, that combo of Wunsch and McCurdy. Mostly on the right. There's Caitlin Davis. Outside, Alexander blocked and roofed. And that was Ryan Torres who got the gist of that one. Bobcats out blocking Hawaii 6-3. Cross-court set goes to Alexander. That one ricochets off the tape and out. And he... The largest lead for Hawaii was six. Lang going outside. Alexander again. And how about Kate Lang? Saying it would be to set the middle. Instead, she goes out and gives Kaylin another chance. And then delivers an ace out of the deck. I believe. Lang did get setter of the year in the conference in 2022. Hawaii by four, and the block was up there on DeFree, who was hitting from the opposite pin. Now Lang going middle to Bamis, rattled around and will not be returned. Sorts in that back row. 23 serving 18. Lang trying to keep this run going. Three straight points for Hawaii. That was a tweener. The free, the tip shot, sliding save, Ike Naga, middle set, Bamis pushed Dink, punched up in the air by Ortega, the free in the middle. Paint, rush, action. <laughs> 19 serving 23, that flat-footed serve of Torres. Backside set, Alexander. And she didn't make a good cut. To Bamis in the middle or Hawkins in the outside. This one a little more pure, and Kalen proves it. Four swings. And already a double-double with 13 digs. Aloha ball in the third for Hawaii. Middle set to free, hits it long. Was there a touch? No touch. Oh. And part of that ended up being this eight-day trip out to Hawaii, and they have taken full advantage. They have done the luau, they did the Pearl Harbor thing. Um, I think Sean Hewitt has a, a pretty good tan here at the moment. <laughs> of all. So 
So here we go. 21 serving 24. Lang going outside. A Damey. A laser beam off the palm. Takas, Keelan Alexander, and Kate Lang. <laughs> Swing from the back row, Maggie Walsh. She's been doing that all week. Oh, that was an out ball played by Hawkes. Ike Naga going over the front row. Hurt herself there in that effort. Here's Alexander. A quick spring by, by Kalen. And then again, she just kept bouncing. As if she was on a pole. I'm not sure what the call was there. I think that during the joust, Kalen reached over, I believe. Oh, nice angle there on the slide. Texas State side of the net. Good call there, C-Mac. Here's Alexander. And that will be. Team that, boy, cannot take for granted just because they're up 2 1. Torres going backside. That's DeFree. Getting some swings from that opposite position. Alexander, the push dink, finds the floor. Well, on the other side of that this season. A predisposition to Hyde and Jekyllism. <laughs> there you go. It's science. Going over on two is Torres. And the free ball sent back over. DeFree. Two. This is a big front line right yeah. now. Yeah, McCurdy, Wunsch, DeFree, you're right. Slide goes to Bamis. You weren't too worried about the uh, big front line there on that transition. My goodness. Wow. Bamis with eight kills, tied at four, and Lang trying to execute one of those. Uh, good pass there, Leva. Backside, Alexander, the cutty. We haven't seen a whole... Now, if you're going to tip or you do a little soft shot, you go to where the off blocker was. And then she follows it up with an ace. Within matches that they make, not just some of the strategic stuff, as Wunsch gets back to work. She's got third decisions going deep into their bench, putting in players who have minimal, in some instances, experience in high leverage situations. What does that say about this staff, c -Mac? It says that they're unafraid. Uh, they're courageous in doing some of that stuff. Great effort there by Torres. Bamis. Another Bamis. Bamis offensively was hitting for a high percentage. Yep. Seven serving six, and that one goes long. Khalil Baxter saying after the match last night, he says, you know, that's just sort of team it necessary. Exactly. That's how Milan Zarkovic coaches on the men's side, too. Every player does everything. Right side. This is Hawkus. That was a hammer from Tally Hawkus. Seven kills, hitting 091 and 16 digs. That's becoming kind of a vintage Tally Hawkus line. It is. Slide goes to Hanner, blocked by Sylvester. Hanner this time off of two feet by the double block. Save over the net by Hawkus. Hanner a third time. And that had some heavy sauce on it. Or as your dad like to say, as if she was double parked. <laughs> and she had to come move her car. The slide goes to Sylvester, and the tip does not get over the net. Timing a little 17, which actually ties her season high. Here's the slide to Sylvester. That time they ran it better. Great dig, though, in the back row by Clark. One hand over the net by Kate Lang. And that gives her now five. Up and down. Her previous season high was four, and that came against Texas State on Tuesday. That one crawls over the net, and a net violation goes against Torres. That's just a tough position to be in. Chases down that front set. McCurdy dug up by Leva. Lang over on two that time. Texas State was ready. Now the middle to Hanner. May have been an out ball played by Leva. Hawkes sets up Alexander. Hard angle. 
comes to the net and will not be returned. A four hit violation and Hawaii gets the point. Saving shot. Outside, here's McCurdy, big swing, the block slowed it down. Lang goes middle, Sylvester finds the floor. Five kills for Miliana and Hawaii. Here on the outside hitters, because the, the other side's middle blockers are starting to pay more attention. Tanner, she is so tough off of one foot. Lang going against the grain. Sylvester blasts it off the hands and down. Very, very fast offense. But Victoria's not given enough credit for the number of times she's passed the ball well tonight. Cross court. McCurdy. The up by Ike Naga. That's 11 for her. Alexander dug up by the opposite libero. Ortega. McCurdy again. Diving save Leva. Off the net played by Alexander. But oh, what he holds she. Uh, address the crowd in Spanish. And it helped kind of set the tone for what has been uh, a really fun experience, I think, yeah. for the fans here in the arena. Very cultural, educational. 11 serving 13. Slide, famous, blocked, and roofed. McCurdy getting a good chunk of the flat footed serve. Still causes all kinds of problems, especially when it tickles the tape like that. That's her fifth ace of the season. Marcus handles that one. High ball set, Alexander. That is a big old block that Texas. 14 serving 13. Low line drive served there by Lang. Quick middle to free. So much John Hewitt wanted to emphasize. Absolutely. I love the line drive set that Torres used. And then the block by Wunsch on Tally Hawkes. Well, two offenses hitting 364 and 412. Out of the timeout, Hawkes got blocked. Lang goes right back at her. And that one got stuffed. Texas State out blocking Hawaii 9 to 3 tonight. Backside, here's Kalen. Wow, that went straight down. Yeah, that was dynamic. Fortunately for the Bobcats, it was a point for them. Hawaii now trailing by three. Alexander this time going cross court. Dig there, Torres. And rattles off the net and will be played back. Hawk is trying to time this against the big double block. Goes off the block and down. Even. Lining up on the outside. Let's see if they try to serve her. Instead, they serve the libero. The middle set was off the mark. Emerling able to get it over, though. Lang goes middle, and Famous is stuffed. Well, they challenge Defer. And Ortega the serve. Lang goes outside. A Damey is blocked. That block is getting a piece of everything now, and the tip does not get over the net. Before we in that match, she has 26 kills on 56 attempts here tonight. And out of the timeout, an out serve. Sending it across. Good pass there. Quick middle set, a little low for Hanner. So Alexander tried to set up a dame. He couldn't quite put it on the mark. Here's Wunsch. She can do no wrong until she goes to the bench. She's had quite the night. And set pushed outside, off the net. But Damien couldn't do much with it. And Torres over on two. Each team now with one challenge remaining. Hawkes off the block and down. That's the ninth kill for Tally Hawkes. You see now Jackie Matias and Tyler Reese Mane enter into the match. Out serve though there by Matias. 22 serving 17. Sylvester gets it home. And she knows it. She works really hard in the gym every day. Against the grain.
lane. It's Hanner off one foot. Good sliding save. Matias Alexander. Oh, some high cheddar in the direction of Alyssa. It's really tough ball to hit. It might have been Alexander's best swing of the night. And it gives Ike Naga a career high in assists with nine. Meanwhile, McSis, she has 11 digs, nine assists. Has the first touch there. Matias goes middle. Sylvester is blocked. The cover by Ike Naga. Bobcats play it back. Nice reaction there by Alexander on the dump shot. McCurdy rattles the net. On one knee, the save by Matias. Alexander! A laser! She has just been amazing this season, c -Mac. Yeah, she really has. Very special athlete. Okay, Naga with the serve. Middle set, that's the free. You could see that one coming. State. Torres to serve. Hawaii way out of system. High ball bump set. Alexander. That combo of Ikai for Alexander on 60 swings, hitting 300. But it remains Aloha ball here for Texas State, trying to force a decisive fifth. Out of system. McCurdy going to try to time it. Off the block and into the pin. And the Bobcats take set four. So here we go. It's becoming 15 for a victory. Lang going slide. Sylvester dug up to the net and down. And Sylvester. Well, don't go to the bathroom yet. <laughs> Hold it until this sets over. So remember, each team gets an added challenge here for set five, which means that we have two challenges available on either side. One serving zero, Ikenaga on the line, good pass. Outside, McCurdy drops the anvil. Torres. So here's Caitlin Davis in to serve, another freshman on this roster. Crowd trying to get in her ear. Lang has to chase down the set. And Alexander goes off the block and out. Had 33 kills against Arizona back in August of 2016. And that one hammered down by DeFree. So first 30. Her middles as much as she wants, according to Coach Hewitt. Two serving two. Leva with the pass. Lang to the middle. Bamis couldn't get it down. It's knuckled over. Leva the reaction. Lang, backside. Alexander hits it into the twine. Three serving two. Hawkes the pass. Lang going right side. Alexander the tip. Torres was in position. Here's McCurdy. The roll shot. Block slowed it down. Leva was there. Middle set, Bamis. The set was a little off the mark, so Lang this time goes left side to Hawkes, who miss hits it. A 4 2. And it is Ryan Torres getting ready to serve out of the timeout. Leva the first touch. Lang going to go middle again, and it is Alexander in the middle of the net. Blocker to her. Oh, DeFree couldn't get a good swing on it. So high ball bumps it. Here's a Damey. Oh, she got eclipsed by that. And Samantha Wunsch is there. Is a French press is what you're saying? There you go. Famous. Oh, my goodness. No tears. Looks good. And a good serve by Bamis. Deals an ace out of the deck, and we're tied at five. What can you get from Jason Bamis behind the service line? Two aces tonight. Sends it deeper that time. Wunch. Later, no. That was more sophisticated. sophisticated. Hey. No, no hate from me. I love it. And look at that. The decoy by Kate Lang. Uber. Oh, man. Six serving six. Good serve by Hawkes. Bump set, Wunsch, wrist away. And she has been unstoppable. I mean, just a straight up dominant performance. Yep. For one of the leaders on this team. 
16 kills, hitting 484. Here's the slide to Sylvester. Dug up by McCurdy. From off the net, Emmerling hits it into the twine. Comes down to this. Seven all in the fifth. Outrigger Invitational title on the line. The slide. Janner got rocked back. The other way it goes. And the swing by Walsh off the block. Going over on the first touch is Alexander. What a heady play. It's just 33 now. So that's the most, as mentioned, since McKenna Granado in 2016. Yesa Blessa, Hawaii gets to eight first. Eight serving set, five setter this season. It's the seventh match of the year. Leva serving out of the timeout. What a pass there by Ortega and then Hanner off of one foot. And all hitting pretty good percentages too. Lang gets pulled off the net, sends it out to Alexander. Tried to go cross court. How about 67 swings now for Alexander. They're serving her, they're making her work. Goes through the block and down. Putting on the cape again here this evening for Hawaii. Outside, McCurdy. I mean, that was a missile as this match progresses. Just a freshman. Two-hand pass there, Alexander. Lang going slide to Venus. The block slowed it down. Playing back the other way, it's McCurdy off the block, chased down by Ikenaga. Lang gonna go to Alexander. And Alexander's gonna deliver again for her 35th. 35 kills. Last time that has happened, Jamie Houston had 35 against USC back in 2006. DeFree didn't get all of it. One hand save Lang. Here's Alexander through the block. Played up by McCurdy. McCurdy in the middle of the net. The tip right there was Lang. So here's Ike Naga. Bump set Alexander. A ferocious. 11 serving 10 in set five. That was DeFree. Got slowed down. Lang. Here's Kalen. High hands. It'll be played back the other way. Joust above the net. 12 serving 10. Crowd quiets. Lang gets the serve in. Outside it's McCurdy. Dug up by Leva. Hawkes centers it. Free ball coming over the net though. Middle set to free. Tried to left hand it over. The set was off the mark. Here's Alexander. Does it again tonight with 37 kills, career high, 73 attempts, also a career high. Outside, here's McCurdy, hits it wide! Another rainbow roller coaster ride. Right side, DeFree, two hands it over and down. A little unorthodox. Timeout. Almost 5,000 here in the building. Chanting, let's go, Bose. Overpass. Put down. I'm not sure if that was DeFree or Mc... Third set, third match point for Hawaii. Kalen, the first touch. The set goes to Alexander. Dug up, over, hand out, and Hawaii has done it. the cardiac cake to ride and Hawaii is now six and one on the